hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how to create a text wrap or 3d text wrap illustration in the app ibs paint text so first uh, so i am going to create uh, a circle wrap so for that i am using uh, a, a circle as the base so what i'm doing is using the filthy pen hard brush and circle tool i'm making a circle and just positioning it it's exactly at the center of the canvas and i'm going to split it um, into two not exactly in a diagonal way just i'm making a wave like stroke so that i will uh, add uh, two text good vibes good at the top and vibe at the bottom uh, both in uh, covering these two uh, sections so for that I am creating the center line. You can uh, make it um, you know, as you like, the shape you want, it's up to you. For tutorial, I am creating the circle shape. So using the text, you can see Advocate Ancient Sans uh, text. This is the font that I am using. So create these two texts in a different layer because if you are in the text layer, once you create a tag, uh, good and click on here you will get another option for another text box but don't do, use that create new layer uh, for the another uh, word that you're going to use so here you can see i am creating a separate layer for the good and another separate layer for the vibes then rasterize each layer by clicking on these three dot and click on the yes so that we can do further on this text this is no more a text layer this is almost like a normal layer we can do whatever you want uh, as usual we do for another layers so what you have to do is go to transform click on the mesh and here adjust division x and y values as you wish so here you can see for the x I keeping it two division which means you can see there are only two um, sections in uh, x axis and when it comes to y axis there are three sections now you can see by increasing the division x and y value the number of anchor points uh, increases using that you have to adjust uh, each anchor point so that it fits exactly inside that shape here you can see if you can't able to fit in uh, you can increase the number of uh, divisions so that you get more anchor points and adjust it very comfortably and exactly in this same shape so here you can see just move the anchor points like this and position it approxim approximately then increase the division value of y and adjust it again so that all the text are uh, wrapped in exactly same way um, uh, the shape looks and it looks good yeah now i got it now this layer is not required so i'm just making it invisible and merging these two layers now duplicate the layer i'm keeping this lower layer for the reference and in the top layer i'm going to duplicate it again and working on the second layer so here click on the filter go to the style option and click on the exclude perspective so just use this filter use the plus symbol that you have to um, position the direction of that uh, extension that we are doing for any text or any uh, art details you are doing so this is how we have to create these 3d details in ivs main text just move the plus value and change the lighting values so this is one way um, for the exact thing that i require i'm going to show you another way so i'm using the same exclude perspective trend, uh, filter and keeping the plus at the center exactly at the center of these two words and changing the lighting value or lighting direction so here you can see also reduce the depth and see how much you want if you want to keep it 
uh, keep the background extension short reduce the thickness value or the depth value and if you want it to be more 3d and extended one increase the 3d uh, depth value and you can also change the color of this uh, um, extrude so here you can see it looks good if you want to change the color you can try out some light color but if you are using light color it will be like very light and you are not able to see the details so i am using the dark color and also adjust and see the light how it looks when you change the angle so then you can also change the highlight color so the you know the 3d details look entirely different when you change the color if you're going for yellow it looks the uh, highlight will look in yellow shade so that's the thing so now i'm keeping it at the top and this is what i want clicking on the tick and here is my 3d text wrap so you can see if you want to add a few more details go to the style again click on the drop shadow and just add a little bit of shadow for this text so that we can add some more details to our illustration so if you can if you want to create some logo definitely you can try these filters um, this is like a game changer uh, especially for the android users so yeah this is one thing and this is another way you can create i like this one and i'm saving this as png so guys if you like this tutorial please subscribe to my channel many of you are not subscribing me at all but uh, you are watching my informations or, or content but you know be thankful a little bit subscribe and watch the videos also like and share with your friends thanks for watching bye